If you should visit a place that has a lake in the woods and a beautiful waterfall, then you may also find two little engines called Scarloe and Renea. The engines with everybody, everybody knows. There are two more engines, Sir Handel and Peter Sam. They used to be called Stuart and Falcon, but they liked their new names better. One day, Sir Topham Hatt sent Edward to the works to be mended. A big surprise awaited Edward. It's Scarloe. What's he doing here? Scarloe was pleased to see Edward. I've been sent here for a rest, he sighed. I was put in this shed so that I could see everything and not be lonely. But I do miss Reneas. He's going to be mended. I wish I could be mended too and pull coaches again. Just then, some workmen arrived. We're going to take you to the works now, Edward. Come along. Goodbye, Scarloe. Your railway's a lovely line. Oh, it is, it is. You've cheered me up, Edward. Goodbye. Meanwhile, Sir Handel was having trouble with some coaches. He tried to be kind, but the coaches didn't trust him. They were awful. There was worse to come. Some careless sheep strayed onto the line. He's bumped us, screamed the coaches. Let's get back at him. They surged into Sir Handel and pushed him off the rail. No one was hurt, but Sir Handel limped sadly to the shed. No more work for you today, said his driver. How are we going to pull the visitor's train without an engine? What about me, sir? Scott Lowy, can you do it? I'll try, said the old engine. The coaches stood at the platform. I'm ashamed of you, scolded Scarloe. You might have hurt your passengers. The coaches quivered. We're sorry, Scarloe. The conductor blew the whistle, and your journey began. Scarloe remembered all the gates and styles where he had to stop. The sun shone, the rails were dry. This is lovely, sang Scarlow. Presently, the line grew steep. Scarlow felt short of steam. Take your time, soothed his driver. His driver. It'll be better downhill, Scarlow. But it wasn't. His springs were weak and the rail joints jarred his wheel. At last, a spring gave way. I feel all crooked, cried Scarloe. We'll need a bus now for our passengers, sighed his driver. No, pleaded Scarloe. I'll get them to the station or burst. James was waiting at the platform. Clanging and clanking, Scarloe steamed in. I'll do it. I'll do it. I've done it. James collected his passengers and respectfully puffed away. Everyone was pleased with Scarloe, but he was still worried. Old engines can't pull trains like the young ones can. They can if they're mended, old faithful, smiled his driver. And that's what's going to happen to you. You deserve it. <laughs>